Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. Hi, uh, Randolph. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who mm. wants to know? I'm Me. Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays she's her rent on time. creepy. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends him. come true. Walk? And, get this, most ah, of this control. stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles mm -hmm. I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving. So much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. Yeah. We're damn lucky it didn't Weird, huh? The trailers. Someone's chopping wood out there. There it is. It gets better. A local girl, Does it now? Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. It's got camo over it for some reason. Make sure no one is, can see the dumpsters. Weird. Come on, this is taking forever. Oh, we had to go around that, huh? I'm I'm here. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Let's go. Welcome to to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Hi. Oh. This isn't oh, weird yes. at all. Yes. Please, come in. Sure, why not? Hey, this is really good! Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah, uh, hey Al? Al, what's... Oh. Barry! 
What? What? skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Straight for the lights. Good reflex. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Oh god. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do, about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Well, it looks like I... Hey, my book. Oh, God. Oh, look at me. Sexy. Oh, yeah. I knew about Thomas Zane before I knew about Thomas Zane. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? Um. I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me, and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. <laughs> Cooking with Would corn. I'd like to hear today's specials. Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. Barry hey. was out of it. He was way too heavy to hey. carry. You're right. I deserve more money. Shut up. I'm so My gun heavy. and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Mm -hmm. I'll run back. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I ain't the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Yeah, yeah, uh, I had a, uh, you know... Uh, argument with Danny? That's a great Danny thing and, to put on the radio, sir. The but I got shit to do. A person. Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI! Get him up, Hemingway! You're under arrest! You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face! My name's not Hemingway. 
break for it. What are you? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my All right, let's go. Up, oh, let's not go there. Run. Run. Pant. Oh, they're really far away. Never mind. They're right there. Cop that just passed right above me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Stop oh. We have the suspect in sight. No, you don't. Oh! What in the fuck? Oh, damn. Shit. Shit. Why are they shooting at me? God damn it, I didn't do anything. Oh, shiny. Manuscript. Well, manuscript time. And death. Anything. Aha. Hidden manuscript. See, we're gonna make a break for the light, and then the car scared the crap out of me. Over and out. I hear them. Hmm. It's a drop hazard. Well, not down there, so, uh. Ha! Looks like they're getting killed by the darkness. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a rider, not a monster. She made fun of my jacket. It's over. I thought she was cool. Helicopter? Helicopter way off in the distance. 
Oh, never mind. Right there. Behind things, run behind things. Go! Oh, run. Mind they're going after the... Thank you, birds. I knew you loved me this entire time. this toggle zoom uh, two levels of zoom light oh grass looks horrible over there Comment really. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Mm. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. To the coal mine. What is that place over there? It's angry. My natural shadow has clung to me. <laughs> the darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a fight. <gasps> Coffee. Anything else? Generator. Stand on that. Done. And I broke it. Good job, me. Reach the radio station. Reach in the radio station. Oh, another angry gate. Uh. What did I do? Oh, it's just the gate. Good thing I have a flashlight right here. Don't know why the flashlight was on. But, oh well. Shut up. Serves you right for being an angry gate. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. One, come in. Over. Team one, this is Sheriff Breaker. Report. Over. 
I didn't know you could change the, uh... The view. They're all dead. Sorry. Hello. Ow. Good thing I found flash grenades. Whew. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stay away. The light is right there. Radio. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's Bill Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Bill? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds Was it 10, 15 minutes ago? It don't sound like no party. Huh. Well, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. I have okay. no idea. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. Oh. Hello, everyone. Ah. No. Stay back, Falbies. I have no idea where I'm going. Here, take another one. Take another one. Leave me alone. I don't want you. Sirens. I don't think I want sirens either. That's our. It's broken. It's fine. More flashbangs. You know, for having so many flashbangs, like, you know, stun someone. They didn't stun me at all, they just shot me. Dicks. Take another one. Mm, very effective. I hear one. Oh. Radio station. Help me. Help me. Fuck you! 